Howdy folks. Today I'm gonna do something that, I don't know if everyone does this, but I think everyone should do this. I'm just gonna do a quick taste test um, with Aquavit. Now this is something I like to do when I'm getting to the end of a bottle. Uh, I'll go and go ahead and replace the bottle before I finish the first bottle. That way I have a little bit of the old bottle left and I can compare it to the new bottle I just bought. I do this a lot with bottles that have a lot of variety in their category. So there's a lot of different kinds of gin in the world and you want to know what your gin tastes like before you put it in your drink. And if I don't want to keep a bunch of different bottles of gin, you know, for every occasion, when that one that I use mostly for mixing is about to run out, I'll go ahead and buy a new one of a different brand, then I can have a little taste test and move on to the next brand. I do this a lot with vermouth. Today I'm gonna to do it with Aquavit. This here is the O.P. Anderson. This is a Swedish Aquavit, and this is the one I've been using uh, most recently. I've been really enjoying it, but it's almost empty. Uh, and so I went and bought this. It's Svol. It's a... Uh, it's an Aquavit from New York. Uh, it's in a Swedish style. Swedish style being uh, a little more anise forward and not a Norwegian style, which would be uh, more aged. They age their Aquavits a lot more in Norway. The other one I have is Alborg uh, Jubileums. It is Danish. It is Danish. And it, uh, this is kind of a strange one. Tafel Aquavit is, is their, their usual sort of baseline brand. And this one has like, has American oak extract. Extract of American white oak sort of included in there. So it's not really aged, but it's got like some sort of oak essence put in there. Anyway, it's pretty good and it mixes up pretty well. Um, and this is what I had before I had the O.P. Anderson and I saved it and I never got around to doing my tasting, so I'm gonna do three at once right now. Also, just as a tip, like, it's good to taste things by themselves now and then, just to remind yourself what they taste like. So if you're trying to come up with a drink, you'll know what to expect. You'll get inspired to, you know, flavor combos or whatever. So yeah, I do this with with vermouth a lot, do it with gin a lot, sometimes mezcal, if I haven't settled on a mezcal, you know, mixing bottle. So. First up, O.P. Anderson. These Swedish ones are very, very light. Sort of citrusy, coriander, orange peel kind of. Mm. Yeah. I mean, dill, orange, uh, coriander. Not super fennel-y, I wouldn't say. Not super licorice-y, but a little. Let me get a glass of water. Okay. Okay, moving on. I'm going to try this Alborg Jubileums. Hmm. Doesn't have as much going on on the nose. Mm. Mm. It's not as boldly flavored. It's um it's, a, it's softer. Not quite as um punch you in the face with the with the spices, not the spices with the botanicals. Um uh, I mean that mixes up nice in a drink like if you're going to have you don't want the aquavi to really take over the drink like you know can happen this is pretty good because it all you know blend with other things a little better a lot of that citrus coriander sure not as dill not as dill forward as the as the op anderson all right some more water okay swole aquavit now i just got this uh i'm not super familiar with it it is american there's other American, in fact, there's a local one called Krogstad, 
which is pretty good. I used to use that a lot, but it's much more uh, licorice forward, which isn't really tip that typical for, uh, you know, Scandinavian Aquavits. So we'll see how this one is. Hmm. So it's got that smell of, uh, like they put used rye as some of the distillate. I don't know if that's true or not. Hmm. Maybe it's, uh, it's drier. Hmm. You do get a lot more of that fennel, kind of licorice flavor. Hmm. It's got a more of a lemony kind of smell. Oh, they list the, uh, they list what they're putting in it. Oh yeah, rye, corn, and barley is the distillate. I can taste the, I can taste the rye. Dill, roasted fennel, caraway, coriander, lemon peel, lovage, and lemon verbena. I'm getting a bit of lemon. It does seem kind of lemony. It's got a bit of like an unaged whiskey kind of note to it. And a bit, it's actually pretty good. It's interesting. It's going to be different in drinks. This is a pretty boldly flavored, whereas like the Alborg is a little, uh, a little more relaxed, a little calmer. The O.P. Anderson is a bit in between. Hmm. So, my Aquavit drinks. I'm gonna stick with this full from here on till I get to the end of this bottle. I might go back to the O.P. Anderson after that, or I might try a bottle of my local stuff. Or the other option is I could uh, get some Norwegian, get some Linea Aquavit, uh, so more of an aged option. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see what I do. But uh, Aquavit is delicious. It makes really interesting and fun cocktails. You can sort of swap it out for gin in a lot of things. It goes great with lemon or lime. Uh, it's delicious stuff and there's like a lot of it around uh, if you're in Europe of course it's probably easy to get but there's a lot of places in America making it now because it's one of those things a distillery can make before their whiskey is ready to go anyway uh, thanks for watching like and subscribe uh, spread this around if you like this kind of content give it a like and uh, we'll see you next time